Hey, I'm Roland with MobileGeeks.de and I'm right here at the HTC One M8 launch in London right now. But what we have right here is a phone that a friend of mine has brought along. It's Toby from Golem.de, which is an IT portal. And this is the first one. It's one of the, one of the first YOLO phones from Finland, made by this company that's basically built up from people that were at Nokia but changed from there and started their own company. And it's a new OS on there that's called Self Sailfish OS. It's Linux based, built on the old mirror kernel from uh, Migo and stuff. And yeah, let's check it out and take a quick look at it. So this is the new interface and they have done a pretty, pretty awesome stuff right there. So they're moving into a new kind of navigation on the UI. So if you want to show me around, Toby. Yeah, sure. So basically it works a little bit well. It looks pretty, pretty, pretty familiar to people who are used to, 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 to Migo. So you have your open apps, uh, which are like small tiles. So you can just open them and with a slide from the side, you, you, you close them again. And um, when you have a, an, an app open, you can really close it with a swipe from the top. So um, basically get the, at this moment, there there is a Yola store, which is, which well, there are s several apps, but not as much as in an Android store or iOS app market. So, <clears throat> but there's a possibility to install Android apps. So there's a, a free Android store pre-installed. So, it's so a that's normal, the Russian Yandex, yeah, right? Yes, Yandex store, right. So it's a normal uh, Android app and you see like here you have the Android uh, navigation stuff. So you can see I have another chat program open. This is like an Android running uh, 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 interface. So this one I can you see now, it's, it's like the other Yola apps. You can put it on the on the, on the main screen. And um, if you're keen, you can use a, a, a normal computer and install the Google Play Store. It's like uh, moving three or four APKs into a certain directory. And then actually you have uh, uh, the normal Google Play Store, which opens up like the That's Google kind Play of amazing. Store. The only thing you don't have is like a, a really deep integration of Google service. Like right. for example, when you play, I have this uh, this uh, game here that everybody's playing now, this Fives. So you can play games that have a... Uh, 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 um, Google the, integration? The, yeah, the Google integration, but it won't, um, it won't uh, uh, sync. All right. So, so all, the, all the sync here stuff won't drops be out? From, from oh, all right. The other phones. But what about other Android apps? So they're basically uh, yeah, all example, able to example, run? Or? Have, oh, no, that's the place where I already showed you. So for example, I have uh, Maps. Where is it? I have maps. So with maps, there's also a, a little problem. So maps doesn't understand um, that that well. It, it does. It does only uh, understand GPS. Oh, so, all right. So only with like network cells, it doesn't work. All oh, right. Because it's, I think it's some different. Some so just the Wi-Fi location stuff and the network right, right, location the stuff doesn't work. That doesn't work. All right. some, uh, I guess yeah, there's some problems with the integration of this. All right. But what else do I have here? I have like Google Plus. You even have the Google settings, which is pretty pretty funny. So you can. <laughs> it's it's like kind of amazing, phone. yeah. And but there's no info on the software in there. It's like. Does it say where, like on the other Android phones, it would be like Android 4.4.2 no, on there, like so that, that, that it's information part is like missing. It's like an Android runtime. Yeah. So um, it's it's not it's not a. Well, it's somehow there. I think it's Android 4.2. All right. So it's basically based. Jelly Bean based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Jelly Bean based. All right. Based. Yeah, and um, well, you have these. So when we move from the to the to the back, you have an 8 megapixel camera. Yeah. And you have these uh, changeable covers. Which are called like the other half, the right? The other half, right. So, and it's actually I only have this one now here with me. Yeah. But they have a little NFC chip, and here's the receptor. So when you put them on, and when I put it, a different one on, um, they're installing like uh, 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 suitable themes. So for example, this one actually has this the first one theme. So that's when I put it on, it All looks right. like that. There's a, 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 a I have another other half. It's uh, like white. All right, so that's the Snow I, White theme right, thing we the saw there. Theme. Ah, Normally, right. when you put it on, uh, uh, it's like all the colors are different. And all right, is there any special functions that shows you associated to that? Can you actually change the functions or whatever? So uh, it loads up certain apps or what, stuff. What, with this 
covers, it's more or less uh, uh, ringtones. Oh, so it's just designs and, uh, and ringtones. But there are ideas, like for example, to, to build something like uh, it's technically possible to to build a, a click-on cover with a with a keyboard, for example. Yeah, it is technically possible there. Like thinking about it, but still tinkering about it. Yeah, and, and it's also open, so everybody can download uh, the specs for this. Yeah, and, and you, you can, can print your own cover, yeah, right? You can print your yeah. own cover, right? It's pretty nice, actually. All right, so what about the hardware? So we have a dual core yeah, Snapdragon S4 in there. Gigahertz, right? Uh, one gig uh, of uh, RAM memory, eight megapixel camera. The screen is uh, well, pretty decent. It's uh, like nine. But it's just QHD 960 QHD, by yeah, 940. But, but basically, it looks pretty good actually. Yeah, it's okay. it's I've seen worse inch, screens. Or 4 .5, yeah. 4 .5 inch, yeah, 4.5. Yeah, 4.5. Uh, it's okay. So at the beginning, at the beginning, they had a uh, lots of problems with the uh, battery. Mm -hmm. So actually, when I when I started using it in the morning, like after half a day, it has only, uh, it rested like oh, uh, 30, oh my God. 30 percent. Yeah. But with the with the latest update, actually, it's pretty cool. So I'm using it the whole day now, and it with yeah. 66 percent, which is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I saw what you did it just there. You double tapped, right? So you can uh, yeah, wake right. up wake up the phone with the like double tap uh, stuff, like on Nokia's and LG yeah. and HTC does it now too. Yeah, right. And uh, you can. That's like and you have uh, like when you're in the in the starting uh, 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 when you have um, lock screen the whatever screen, um, you can have like a quick choice you can you can go directly to the settings or the camera or to the telephone or you can mute it all right and like this uh, drop down menu is like uh, everywhere in yeah so it's basically it's like all over the one place of the, one of the things of safer choice which is pretty pretty handy actually all right so that's only available in it's it's available all over Europe actually or worldwide actually. Yeah, for, well actually you can I think you can order it uh, on the Yola. Uh, yeah, just on the store uh, for three ninety nine yeah. euros that is right. and should uh, be or available. Or you go to Finland and buy it in a DNA store. So yeah, so they have a deal with this uh, Finnish network right. uh, carrier that actually sells these. So this has been just a quick look at the Yola phone from Yola running Selfish OS, and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks with Toby from Golem.de, and I'll see you later. Bye.